Hello, uh, let's move on to the next level of these economic indicators. Uh, this time we will talk about this financial market. Right? Okay, let me reduce my face size. Here it goes. Okay, this financial market. Right? In financial market, we have this relation. But this is, financial market can be divided into two, right? Why? Let me talk about why is this so. Finance is all about circulation of money or financial product, financial instrument. And there are two ways of uh, circulation of this financial instrument. The first one is uh, the everyday trade. Right? Here is A and here is B. A buy goods and services and he pays what? Money. Or he may use credit card. Right? Or we have this A and B. Now B may sold out, may sell what? Stocks and bonds. And when it, when it happens, well, suppose that B is a firm. And A is a household or investor. Right? And the firm, from time to time, has to build new uh, machines or companies, etc. When it comes to that, the firm needs to, need to buy some Mm, what machines, right? Or buildings, etc. Uh, because these machines or company uh, buildings uh, cost so much money, the firm may not have enough money to buy this machine. So to pay this money, the firm sold some financial sell some financial instrument to A and A will give money and this money will be given to C right now we have this situation then we use uh, uh, several uh, 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 word for this in this case uh, this machine usually called capital And the uh, economists rather call it real capital, right? To differentiate between the financial capital from this real capital. And uh, when they do this, they, the firms are making investment, right? And uh, economists may call it real investment, right? And the firm finance, finance this real investment and when they uh, borrow this money, they, we are saying that they finance it, right? And uh, from the perspective of A, A has made a financial investment. Right? Or sometimes they do make a saving. It's the same thing, right? Uh, to do saving, they, to give money, they should receive some stocks and bonds, right? Stocks and bonds. And the stocks and bonds uh, 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 represent what? The holders of these stocks and bonds are the owner of this real capital. 
that the firm has bought. It's not the firm's real capital. It's the uh, stock, the hold of, I mean, the hold of stock and bonds actually hold this real capital. So as an economy grow, you know, national economy, you know, national economy, as the economy grows, the uh, economy build up this capital. As they build more capital, what happens? The stocks and bond will keep increasing. So this financial instrument, the amount of this financial instrument represents the amount of capital that the society has accumulated. So financial development is a good thing for the national economy. And from this perspective, let's uh, analyze money market efforts and then we'll move on to these securities markets. Uh, and to do what? To do, figure out what this price is and what this quantity is. Once we figure out these price and quantities, we are in a position to analyze or evaluate the financial markets of a national economy, right? So let's clear everything. Okay, let's do first money market. And let me conclude first. The prices in the money market is interest rate. Okay. This is the price of, uh, uh, let's say that, suppose A is here and B is here. When you pay money, you hand your lend money, he has to pay interest rate periodically and then he has to pay back the money, the principal, right? This one is called principal. Right? And this one is principal. So the interest rate becomes the prices, right? Let me clear. Prices, 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 prices. Okay. And the quantities for the economy is for the money is is what money stock let me talk about this okay uh, you hold currencies in your pocket or in your purse right how did you get it have you ever seen the central bank, have you ever seen that uh, anybody, I mean, have you ever seen the central bank gi giving his money to the general public? Never. Then how the money is going to the, going from central bank, here is central bank, to the general public? Well, it will proceed in this way. Here is a bond market. Bond market. From time to time, central bank will buy bond. And he pays out with money. And this money is called high powered money. And you may see why we call it high powered money in, uh, uh, in a moment, All right? So, here is the person who sold this bond. 
And let's say that this one is 100 billion dollars, right? All right. Now, when this person got this money, he will save it to the bank A. Every bank has a balance sheet which denotes these assets and liability. Oh, sorry, not assets here. Assets and liabilities. It's, a, it's called a T account in accounting. When this person deposits his $100 billion, it goes, it becomes a liability. It's called a deposit, right? Liabilities for this bank. And uh, for this, a bank has to pay interest rate and pay $100 billion if he has. Now, uh, because for this liability, the bank has to pay the interest rate, uh, you can, uh, the bank just not, just, uh, uh, cannot just hold this bond, this, this money, right? What he does do is make a loan out of this, right? Suppose that, what will happen if the bank make a loan uh, uh, of 100 billion dollars to the general public? What will happen? Well, if, let's say this is person, small a, right? A, withdraw only one dollar from this bank. What will, bank, what will happen to the bank? Well, the bank does not have any kind of money, right? Any amount of money, the bank will go into a bankruptcy, right? So, what the bank should do? He will never make a loan this total amount. Instead, this is A. Instead, he only make a loan less than 100. So, let's say something like uh, 90. 90. Okay, let's say that. 90. Oops. 90. And what is the remaining? It is called reserves. Reserves. Right? 10. And make this loan to P. 90. What does he do with what does he do with this 90? He will buy machine to make an investment and pay 90 and here is person C. And he will make a deposit to a bank nearby him, right? Bank C Bank B uh, He made a uh, demand deposit deposit 90 Right? Oh, uh, so the, uh, the bank are in the same situation, so he, he may have to, because he pay interest uh, payment to person C because he holds this deposit, uh, the bank need to make a loan out of this 90. So he also make a loan out of this 90, and he will, uh, let's say 10%, 9, so 81. He only holds uh, 90% of this, he make a loan of 90% of this 90. He, and uh, the reserves is becomes 9. Right. And he made this loan to person C. No, D. 
Now he holds 81, right? Now, let, let me ask a question. Here is A. Let me ask him A. How much money do you hold? He will say that, well, I have a 100 billion dollars. And ask B, uh, saying that, how much money do you have? Well, B will say, I have zero, right? How about C? Well, he will say, he will tell you that, well, I have 90. And how about D? Well, he will say he has 81. Well, how much money does this economy has? Well, if you add them up, it becomes 271 billion dollars. Wow! 207 billion dollars. How much money was supplied to the economy? 100 dollars. And this one is the money that the bank mark, the bond market has received. This one is what? This is the, this is the money that uh, C and D hold, right? Now, what happens here? Well, this one is, this one is high powered money. And this two is called, what? Bank money. Right? He has a deposit of 90. This one is bank money. Now let's take a look at what happens here. Well, you if you follow this mechanics, you will find that at first, if one hundred dollar bill is put into the economy, at the next stage, uh, by the way, this uh, I mean uh, original one hundred dollars, uh, one hundred was divided into loans and reserves. How much loans were made? 10%. This one is called reserve ratio. R, right? R, right? And the same thing happens in the, among these 90, only 81 was rent out and 9 was held by the bank and uh, it was 10%, right? Why? Out of 90, 10%, uh, 9, was held by the bank. So, uh, we can say that uh, in the next stage, uh, how much money was uh, uh, created to the uh, general public? Well, this much. How about in the next stage? Well, R times R times 100. How about in the next? Well, the next will be R times R times R times 100. And this will keep Continuing, right? Right? This one is keep continuing. So, what's the end story? Let me erase. Okay, let me erase everything here. Right? Uh, no, 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 no. Now, the summation uh, can be done in this way. Let me write here, okay. I can move over here. Uh, the total amount will be R plus R 100 plus R scale 100 plus R to the third 100 plus dot dot dot. Let's call it S. And let's supply, uh, multiply S in both sides. 100 and R scale 100 plus R to the third 
uh, to the fourth one and the first dot 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 and why don't you subtract it then we have one minus r s and uh, this one this one raised raised erased erased so the remaining thing is gone and how much do we have 100 right so s will become minus r 100 and r is 10 percent so this one will be 0 0.9 100 and this one becomes how much 10,000 divided by 9 how much is it let me calculate it let me calculate it why don't you try why don't you try let me do this 1000 clear 1000 divided by 9 will be something no 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 1 minus um, Is there something wrong? Well, 100, what happens? By the by, 10. Right. Oh, yeah. It's not like that, right? Not like that, right? Uh -huh. Sorry. What's happening is here is one over one hundred, right? Divided by ten over nine. Right? Uh -huh. One thousand divided by nine. What's going on here? Well, one minus zero point nine temp. Oh, oh, no, 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 ten percent. It's already. What's going on? Uh -huh. Well, one hundred. Uh, oh no 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 no. Ah, oh. not this one, right? 1 minus r, right? Here is, uh, how much is it? Uh, 1 minus r, it's 1 minus r to the square. This one is 1 minus r to the third, right? So, uh, this one is, will be the same, but we have, not this one, this one is 1 minus r, right? So, what happens? Okay, this one is R, so S is this one, so this one is 0.1, right? And this one will be how much? Okay. This one um, should divide by how much? 0 0.1. Right? And this one will be 1000 divided by 1. So we have 1000. How much money the bank, central bank supplied? 100. 
and what's the money that is circulating in the economy? 1,000. How many times? 10 times. <coughs> 10 times, right? So, be careful. When you are talking about money stock, let me clear here. When you are talking about this money stock, this not only includes the money that is supplied by the central bank, but it also includes the money supplied by the banking system, right? And uh, even though the central bank supplied uh, lots of money, if the uh, financial market in the private sector is weak, so the loan may be smaller than before, then the money stock will be uh, smaller and smaller. Even though the same amount of money has been uh, supplied to the central, uh, to the general public, if the banking sector is eager to lend out uh, as much as possible, then the uh, money stock will be supplied much bigger than the than before, right? So let's uh, uh, conclude here. Price is the price of money is interest rate, and the, the quantity of the uh, money market is money stock. And uh, let's have a, a brief pause and then move on to this the securities market, the so-called capital market. We will talk about. Uh, the price and quantities indicator for this capital market. So you can easily grasp the, the movement of securities market. Okay, let's stop here with clearance and